What's up, y'all? Hope everybody's having a good quarantine. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe, staying healthy, looking out for one another, and I hope you guys are still playing, still practicing, hopefully picking up some new tunes. I imagine everybody's quarantine experience is fairly similar to mine. So this is a trick that I actually learned from a Highland bagpipe player, brilliant player by the name of Stuart Lydell. Yeah, bonkers. Guy's insane. And he did it uh, on the Highland pipes. I think he did it on a you see D, what would be a D on a Highland pipe chanter, where he's kind of running his fingers over like that. Doesn't really work on that note, on the whistle, just because there's not enough room. And, you know, maybe it does for you. If your fingers are smaller than mine, I got pretty giant fingers, I guess, so it doesn't really work. But where it does work is on the C sharp. And it's kind of cool because you can't do a roll on a C-sharp ordinarily because there is no top note, you can't cut. But here's the trick. Now, before we break this down, keep in mind, again, this is stupid whistle tricks. This is not something you're going to do very often. One, because a C-sharp with enough time to play a roll on it doesn't come up very often. It comes up in A-tunes, I would say, more often than anything. So I don't really use this a lot. Don't use this a lot. It's goofy, but it's kind of cool, and it's something you might want to play around with if you're bored, like me. So here's how you do it. We're playing a C-sharp. Obviously you can't cut, you can tap, no problem. So the trick is, is you're taking three fingers and you're just running over the top of the whistle. So it gives the appearance of a roll. Doesn't sound great when you play it like that, but if you play it quick, kind of has the same effect, right? So where I would use this would be, say, in an A tune, like um, Hector the Hero. Right? That's the basic basic line. So instead of doing a slide, which is what I would say I do and most people do, on the C you could do a roll. Right? Now again, the trick to this is getting it nice and consistent um, and so that each of those three notes sound the same. Nice and quick. But the thing you're gonna have to keep in mind is that when you have to go to the next note, all your hands are off the whistle. So this is not an ideal spot to go to the next note. So you have to figure out if you have enough time to do this little thing and get back to whatever the next note is. So again, it's not something that's gonna come up too often because there's not a ton of really great A tunes to play on the whistle. That's probably up for debate, but certainly doesn't work very well with G tunes because you're playing a C natural. And it's even hard on a D tune because there's not a lot of tunes that have a seven, which is what the C sharp would be in that scale, where, you got, where you're just sitting on that note. It's not really a note that you're gonna land on in an Irish tune, but it's a three, it's a third in an Irish, or in an A tune. Play around with it. Don't spend a ton of time on this, because it is kind of goofy, um, but also check out Stuart Lydell. I'm gonna put his link down there. If you're at all interested in Highland bagpipes or just good music, check that guy out. Guy's insane. Hope you guys dig this. I'll see y'all on the next one and stay safe, please. Cheers, guys.